Welcome to the next video on the Boswell's College Maths Induction Playlist. Here we are going to take a look at factorising more difficult quadratic expressions. So in the previous video we looked at factorising expressions where it was just x squared at the beginning. What makes these um, more difficult is the fact that we've now got um, the coefficient for x squared, so the number in front of the x squared, greater than 1. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to label each of the coefficients of my quadratic expression. So the coefficients, the numbers that come in front of a term, are just going to I'm going to label them a, b, and c. So a is two, b is going to be minus one, and c is going to be minus fifteen. I need to calculate what a c is equal to. A c is going to give me minus thirty. And B, B is going to give me minus 1. From here, I then need to figure out, like I did in the previous video, which two numbers will multiply to make minus 30. So my AC part is the bit where I'm trying to figure out two numbers that will, where the product is minus 30. And then two numbers, that will, the same two numbers, that will sum to make minus 1. Um, those two numbers here are going to be minus 6 and plus 5. So just quickly check that. Minus 6 times by plus 5 gives me minus 30. And then when we sum these together, minus 6 plus 5, that gives me minus 1. So I now put this into double brackets like I did in the previous video. And I'm going to have 2x and 2x. In um, the reason for this is because of um, because in the last video we had just x squared at the beginning here we've got 2x squared so we're going to have 2x um, in our bracket to begin with so then I just put these numbers in minus 6 and plus 5 but I also need to divide by 2 so when um, my next step then is to see which of these will divide by 2. I need to cancel out this divide by 2. And you can see here that this 2x minus 6 will divide by 2. So it gives us x minus 3 and then 2x plus 5. All that I've done there, all that I've done is I've divided this bracket here, this 2x minus 6 by 2. So 2x minus 6 divided by 2, that gives me the x minus 3 and then 2x plus 5 just stays as it is. And this is my fully factorised version of this quadratic expression. So the next example, start off AC. AC is going to be, in this case AC is going to be plus 12 and B is going to equal plus 7. So Next step, figure out two numbers that will multiply to make plus 12, but sum to make plus 7. Um, so those two numbers are going to be plus 3 and plus 4. I need to put those numbers into double brackets. And so in this case, I've got 6x squared. So I'm going to start off my bracket, bracket 6x, and then put the number in, plus 3 and then the other bracket 6x and plus 4 and I'm dividing this by my coefficient for x squared, my 6 so I'm dividing it all by 6 now you will notice here that neither of these brackets will divide by 6 however what I could say about 6 is that 6, I'm just going to cancel 6 out 6 is exactly the same as 3 times 2. Now I can divide this one by 3 and I'm going to have to divide this one by 2. That would be exactly the same as dividing the whole thing by 6. So what I end up with now is I will end up with 2x plus 1. So I've just divided 6x plus 3 and I've divided that by 3. And then 6x plus 4 will be 3x plus 2. So I've just divided 6x plus 4, all of that divided by 2. And so now my final answer here will be 2x plus 1 
in brackets and then 3x plus 2 in brackets and that there is my final answer ok um, whoops uh, computer's gone a bit weird right um, here there are two practice questions for you to have a go at what I suggest you do is you pause the video now um, attempt the questions and then press play to see the answers <laughs>